Hello, hello everybody, Chris here, Friendly Frenzy Games, and we are back with yet another mission for Teardown. Um, chugging through part two of this campaign here, really enjoying ourselves with some of the new mechanics, most specifically the armed um, automated robots here. Super, super interesting mechanic, something way different than anything that we had seen and played with in chapter one or part one of this game. So very curious to see how they continue to integrate different um, challenges and different mechanics as we plug our way through this one. So hopping right back into this, if you, this is your first time with us, truly appreciate it. If this isn't your first time, truly appreciate you spending um, some time again with us and, you know, continuing to follow along in our progress. We've probably close to 40 videos now for Teardown, so obviously a lot of content between short and long form stuff. You can see, if you're curious to see kind of where we started when we picked up this game versus where we are, we have every single mission that we've completed to date on our YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe to Friendly Frenzy Games. We have a boatload of other gaming content there as well, but strictly related to Teardown, we have every single mission that we have completed, and each one of these has been to set up and escape and completing all of objectives for each one of these missions that we've faced in the game so far. So, super excited to hop into this one. Let's do it. We have a mission here for Mr. Amanatides again, Blue Tide Shortage. So despite the security upgrade, I had a recent break-in at Hollow Rock. The new robots are not performing as advertised. I had a string of break-ins um, last summer. I suspect this one might be related. Production has had a significant setback due to the break-in, and as a result, we haven't been able to meet demand lately. Our stores are running low, and this reflects very favorably, or sorry, unfavorably on the company. However, some dealer in Frustrum has surplus stock and has been selling my product to own to my own customers throughout our, our ordeal. Okay. To rectify this, I would like you to reclaim my product from Frustrum to restock my stores. Frustrum has been um, evacuated due to the storm, so it should be straightforward for someone with your skills. Guaranteed, it's not going to be straightforward, but we will see what we are working with here. I want to say Frustrum is where we did the chase mission. I think it is. It is. Okay. Awesome. Tiny little map. I don't even actually really remember if it was if it was if it was tiny. It was a really cool looking map though. It was like a simulated little town. Lots of buildings, lots of um, um, little just kind of nooks and crannies in the map from what I remember. Like a lot of it was just us kind of frantically running through trying to get to our objective boat, blowing walls apart with the shotgun as we dodged an attack helicopter. So it was pretty crazy. We didn't really get a chance to explore a whole lot of it. But from what I remember, it was very, very cool. So you can see here, it's a tiny village along the Lock Hell River featuring an upscale hotel, a nightclub, and a gas station. Those are all probably very good um, areas for valuables but we're not going to turn this one into a valuable scavenge mission unless we come across some in our path but another six mission objective here or another six objective mission here sorry we have three primary targets as well as another three secondary not 100 percent sure what we are going to be okay so this one is stay away from tornadoes okay we have not had anything yet where we have been kind of dodging dynamic weather. We have had the one mission uh, where we were trying to get away from the lightning, but not because it was gonna damage us, we were just trying to prevent the fires that it was starting. So this one is specific to just making sure that we are able to dodge the tornadoes. So that's very cool. Doesn't look creepy. Okay. I guess the whole idea with this is we're trying to not take too much fall damage. I think. I think. I don't know if the tornado can actually kill us. Again, this one just feels like a frantic kind of mission, which is really cool. Uh, I'm stuck here. It's really cool, but it makes it very hard to figure out figure out where I need to go. It would be a lot easier if you could almost set like a little GPS up on your map to uh, point you in the right direction, like a little compass or something. I used to do that with the spray can, obviously, to keep us on our path here, but not going to be quite that easy in this one. 
somehow. Okay, it must be upstairs. You can't really see. Okay, how do I get up there? You can't really see where the tornado is until it just spawns at a corner. So, interesting mission so far. I love the looks of the tornado. The, t the tornado looks fantastic. Again, though, it doesn't look like it can kill you. I'm assuming, though, at this point, you're going to want to just make sure that it's not doing that it's not throwing you up in the air too much that you're going to take fall damage because otherwise I don't really know why the tornado would be so feared. Let me see. What do I have to do with this? Oh, maybe. Blue Tide Keg. What do I have to do? Move the... Oh. Okay, that's where the challenge is. Next. So we just don't want to lose our keg. That's what the real issue is. Okay. I don't think these can explode. Shouldn't be able to because it's just a drink. But we want to make sure that we are able to. We'll have to see what kind of effect the uh, tornadoes have on this keg. All of a sudden, I lost that one. over here now. Okay, but if we just hold on to it, I don't know what the big deal is. I would imagine if we throw it in the escape vehicle, it should be fine. Um, I don't really want to get in a vehicle in the odd chance that um, it just throws everything that we've been working for out of the way. But, okay, okay. So we just have to drop them. We don't really have to load them in or anything, so that's good to know. Um, it looks like they all are up front here. Do we have trucks and stuff? We do. We have a truck. Let's try that. I feel like that's pretty dangerous, though. But I'm going to try it because it'd be a lot easier than having to walk each one of these through. I just imagine, though, we're going to have some issues trying to... Yeah, we're, our cars are going to get annihilated. Cars are going to get annihilated by that tornado, so I don't know if that really makes sense, but it's going to take a long time to run these things. It's going to take a long time to run these things around. But let's see what we can do. Let's see how much damage this tornado does. It's got it wasn't me achievement for destroying, ta I don't know if it's 10 million boxes. That's cool though. I would imagine this tornado can pick up the car. Maybe it's a little easier to dodge these tornadoes. Let me have a vehicle. Let me just see if we can put something together here that we can pull these kegs out. I think that's my truck that just got that just left. Unless that was propane. Okay. Okay. One. I don't want that touching my truck. We're going to just try and keep it out of that area. We have another one in the gas station here. Okay, so I don't know. It doesn't look like the tornado comes and rips apart the building. It's more so just like the open air. Uh, okay, so this definitely... Oh, where'd that can go? This is going to hurt. Okay, so we were able to break our fall damage. That's good. This truck. Okay, it did actually do quite a bit of damage. I was gonna say it doesn't get picked up, which is really cool. That truck didn't get picked up. But this thing is just having a heyday with these canisters right now. I just tossed it. Okay. This is gonna hurt. Don't touch my truck. I'm just trying to break my fall damage right now. But this friggin' tornado doesn't let up though. Oh. So it doesn't suck the one out of the back of the truck, which is really helpful to know. I can't spin this up. I'm trying to make it that we can fit more than one back here, but where'd it go now?
Oh, I did take it out of the truck. We're gonna go get that other truck back here. What do we have? We got a lot to pick up. We're gonna go pick up this one. I don't wanna be flung into the gas pumps. This really isn't a very hard mission. We just need to take the time. Let's lower this bridge here. Gotta lower this bridge so that we can get this truck across. We're gonna need to try and just protect this truck. I don't know how realistic or how easy that's gonna be. I want to try and move this stuff out of the way. I want to explode that just to make sure that this tornado doesn't point me down into it. So the cars don't actually get sucked up as much as I thought they were going to. Which is really good to know. I'm going to try and just pull this stuff all out of the way. i got to figure out where these containers went. So we have one that's like a line here. I have to pull that through to the front. So I want to load up that truck. That's my first goal. Load up this truck. I got separated from this damn thing again. Where'd that go? He's going backwards. Nice if this tornado wants to clear some trees for me. Can't open it. Back of that truck. I'm actually disguised. So, really, what I want to do with this is move this truck. Let's go. It's so hard to keep track of these things. Not a hard mission, it's just annoying. This tornado just spawns on me all the time. Get out of here. This is friggin'. No, I don't know. It's not even the objective. It's just blue stuff everywhere. Okay, you're going. Got me, tornado. Okay. I don't want this tornado coming near me. I don't want it to rip up my truck. Probably already did. I just want to load this truck with as much as we possibly can. Now. Don't touch it! Why? There goes all three of them gone. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm just gonna. You have to do one at a time. I'm pretty convinced you have to do one at a time. These things are just getting thrown around. You don't have time to load. Look at this. Not hard, it's just so aggravating. This isn't even a friggin' oh my god. How the f is he getting out here? Come on. This is annoying. Oh my god. Is 
that the deal? Is that what we have to do? We have to hide under this bridge? Because that's easier than. This thing doesn't. I'm gonna just wait, wait and see if this thing spawns here. Because if this is how we have to do it, fine. I wanna see. Is this, is this gonna rip up this concrete roof? It should. I just don't know if it can get me here. It doesn't look like it can. Okay, that's what we're doing then. I gotta try and get one of my semis. To under that bridge. This is probably too tall though. Just gonna guess. Too tall for that concrete bridge. For that little overpass thing. But let's see. Get out of here. Get out of here, tornado, don't touch me. Might be okay. Bad the entire side got blown out of this thing. Might be a little difficult keeping this, keeping the tanks in, but okay, at least with this, we should be able to load up the entire truck. So I don't know why we have refuge in here. Like, obviously, you know, um, it's concrete, but it can't get us in here. So I didn't think that there would be a place that we'd be in touch with. But it doesn't touch us from here, so that's super, super important. Because it gives me basically a halfway point to collect these cylinders and bring them back. That is so much more worth it. Once we get this truck loaded up, I'm just hoping that I didn't uh, screw myself at this point by having it. I'm just going to dodge these tornadoes now. I don't want to keep losing these. Again, it's not a hard mission, it's just very annoying. But having that little halfway point that we can kind of hide all of our canisters and stuff under, as well as having like a truck that will be able to transport them, makes a lot more sense. Makes a lot more sense. Get that one. I wonder if this is. Okay. Gotta watch that propane tank though. having a hard time getting me along the shore here so it's a pretty easy way to do it if i were to redo this mission i would probably be able to do it a lot quicker and a lot smoother definitely a lot better so i learned a lot in doing this the first time i don't want to have to do this again but should i have to for some reason if all of a sudden this truck isn't going to work i know a lot more now than i did going into it so this is all the objectives on this side perfect perfect I should be able to take this truck to about right here, but where we're gonna run into issues then is, where is our escape? Oh, it's only right there. Oh, that's not so bad. Okay, so let's take this all the way down. Again, I'm really worried about this, about what? The vehicle condition is. This isn't really gonna work. Oh, it did come flying on the side. So I don't know how well this is actually going to work. Like, can I plank? I can't turn the planks though. I just want the planks so I can hold these and put, okay, there. I just need to, yeah, build some walls here. Oh, okay, that's really good. I didn't know I could do that. I need to basically just <laughs> rebuild the walls of this truck. sucks, but better than what it was. Look at this. Things out of Mad Max. Here we go. We're braced up. These bad, these, these tanks aren't going nowhere now. 
Awesome. So this plank should be pretty steady. I'm gonna go one higher just to make sure. This thing is as enforced as I can make it. Okay, that's pretty cool. I've never actually done that. I'm glad you can. I'm gonna quick save. I also be awesome if it added to vehicle condition, but it makes sense that it doesn't. This rock sucks. Really gotta watch vehicle condition there, but okay. Gonna have a little bit of a tough time. Can I move this? Okay. I've only ever seen rocks be like permanent in this game, so I didn't know I'd be able to do that. That's helpful. Okay, so this will help me like throw the canisters up over my planks. That'll be helpful because obviously I'm kind of backed into a corner here, so let's quick save. Now what do I need to do? I already have one collected, so I'm going to grab these two. Let's start with the furthest one. Just see if we can inch it closer to where we need to be. Again, we don't really seem to take too much tornado damage when you're in cover. I think that's the biggest takeaway that I've learned in this mission. Should we ever come across this tornado thing again, I know kind of what the game plan is or what it should be. Stay inside. Makes total sense. That's what they tell you all the time, but realistically though, they tell you to like go to the basement or something. I didn't expect that hanging out in the living room would uh, be safe, but you don't really take damage here if you're inside. So that's good to know. Makes total sense. I just wasn't really thinking about it enough. So you guys are probably gonna have a good laugh at how badly I done it. I, I did it this one, but I figured it out now. Makes sense. Again, not hard, just super annoying with where we were and what I was trying to do. Makes total sense if you can't load the car in the middle of a tornado. But not gonna stop me from trying. So we're under the roof here now. Pretty good shape. Boom, toss that bad boy in there. Kind of screwed up my plank a little bit. I'll replank this after. Just want to make sure that I can get all these in. So we're going to try and clear. I don't know how realistic it is that we're going to be able to just rip, rip that truck up the street here without getting tornadoed. But we're definitely going to try. we got to try it. Okay, I was able to break my fall on a couple of those things. I think this is where we need to go now. Okay. Now that I am in here, I can have a second to look. Like look upstairs. This must be that high scale mansion. There's probably some good stuff in here. Whatever. Is this thing up at the top? I don't think the uh, class of these guests would be chugging down on blue tides. Just hopping out of here. I don't have time. Okay, quick save. Let's try this. Boom. Again, I know I'm gonna wait for this tornado to pass and we're hopping up a little bit here. Alright, let's take this. Take a little bit of fall damage. As expected. This thing's gonna fling me. Okay, so we made that fine. Get this up and over this plank here. Damn thing just keeps getting stuck. Must be a fuller, fuller keg of blue tide. Okay, great. Replank this. I love that you can do your own patchwork. Makes total sense that you can, but I'm really glad that you can. Okay, I don't want that stuff coming out. I'm not really worried about it coming out the top, but. Okay, so now that this is done, can I jump out the roof? No. I don't want these rolling out the back either. I'm gonna have to, can I, do I have room to patch here? have any part of the floor left. Okay, hang on. I need to basically, yeah, plank like this. Not really going to do too much, but I don't want these things rolling out the back. Give it a can. Okay. 
We're gonna try and move these cars out of the way. That uh, Main Street's getting tore up pretty good. Actually, I should use my leaf blower, my own portable tornado here. Get out of here. Okay, so this really shouldn't be too bad. I just gotta make sure. I guess the hardest part about it is that we're gonna almost have to back this car up, or back the truck up into the circle. Might be the hardest part. clear and again waited but that thing didn't really give me a whole lot of space there <laughs> it was coming right up the street right up the middle of the street I almost have to pull it out oh my oh my yeah no why why would it let me quick save doing that I think I just corrupted that yeah that's not gonna work okay we gotta restart now brutal Oh, that's so bad. I can't believe I did that. Okay, well, I didn't want to restart this mission, but it is what it is. It's easy enough, honestly, it really is. I should be able to keep that truck in much better shape at this point. I know what we need to do, so let's see how really, really, how quickly we can do this one. I'm gonna boot across here. I'm gonna need to move all that stuff out of the way eventually, so that's fine. This rock, I'm gonna just move out of the way prematurely here. I'm hoping that I don't really need to use it anyways, but actually I should just move that to my completely. Just throw it off to the side completely. Okay, that's fine. I don't know if the tornado just doesn't give me here either. Tornado just does no structural damage, which is cool. There's my tanks here. Lots of cars. But I don't think it's too destructive. It doesn't even really screw with the trees. Okay. So the hardest part about this going to be trying to get the truck to that covered area in one piece. Like, I don't want that tornado there. So I'm going to try and not look at it so that it doesn't touch the truck. I need the tornado to spawn behind me so that I can get into this truck and hopefully just book to under that covered bridge. Oh well, yeah, they spawn right on top of it. There goes the whole side. Do it again too, I know it. Almost. There we go. Okay, well we're still in better shape than we were, that's for sure. I'm gonna keep the truck here. For nice quick loading. Again, if it's only kind of bumped out the side, I'm not too worried. I'm hoping that if we have a roof, it'll give us a little bit more of a chance to take some damage from the from the tornado. But the things, oh god, it actually ripped that canister out, didn't it? How did it, it rip out all the way back there? Wow, okay. Well, I'm gonna just load them all in on the side. Start by, let's just get this one. Again. 
again, we're kind of like in the shelter of. Okay. That one's nice. I don't want to be too aggressive with these things. And I want to keep them as close to the front of the trailer as possible because if I don't have to back this truck in, we do have to make sure that all of these are going to register as soon as we drive the truck in. So the idea is to just park them as close up here as we can, see if we can stack them, and then I'll just plank them in. We are going to need to make sure that we are able to deliver them all in one go. That's going to be the other thing. Obviously, if they're at the back of the trailer, we have to take more time to drive the truck further in, which isn't necessarily going to really work for us. So I just don't want to give the tornado a chance to mess us up. So I'm going to just try and take this through as much building cover as possible right now to get in behind these walls and stuff. Hopefully survive some of this onslaught. Okay, so as long as we're not like running up the middle of the road, we should be fine. Gotta watch the propane tanks, but we should be able to sustain damage from more than one to actually kill us. But you can see this is already going a lot smoother than last time. We did really learn a lot from that first little trial run, but not too bad considering that's the first time that we've really had to deal with weather as uh, something like this. As our main kind of thing here. I'm not gonna be able to stack that. I'm not going to spend that much time doing it because I don't really know how much of a difference it's going to make. You know, this one's from the gas station. Did it just explode these propane tanks? Surprises. That one's still almost really hurt. Okay, I was going to say, I realize now that I haven't quick saved, I don't think at all, so I'm going to quick save. But I did want to quick save at no health. So we have three all on this side, no problem. Good, now we gotta get these last three. And it's gonna come down to, I don't know if it's gonna make the most sense to actually, yeah, I think, to still deliver them in the That one, I don't know. The one that we hand delivered last time, we could probably do without. Once I get these last two or three in there, I'll just plank up that side, plank up the back, and hopefully we can take some damage again. I think the biggest thing with this is just having the roof. I think that's going to be really important. Because then they can't just fly at the top on a single uh, impact. So. Outside, you're pretty screwed. I don't know where this one went. It's back up here. Okay, that's where I was trying to get it to go. I gotta get inside. There we go. Now I gotta run it across. Spawn right on top of it. Man, come on. Okay. I'm 
so glad that we don't have the ability to fail. Like if they could throw it in the water, or if these things could get destroyed, this would be absolutely abysmal. I want to ideally keep this on like the front half. But we'll see. Let's quick just save this real quick. What else we got? The one up top. Where was that? Like up here, I think. So again, as long as we move that, this building. No. Number four to the very top. Well, thank you. Okay. I'm trying to hold on to this thing. Okay. Now, I don't think it's worth getting all six in this truck. I mean, it would be, but like, I have to go past the point of escape. We're not on a timed, we're not on a timer, so I don't think, again, that it really, really matters. I do want to make sure, though, that obviously we can get all five from this area in kind of one drop off. So let's try and do that. Let's just plank this to make these not roll around. We don't really need planks for anything else in this mission, so I'm gonna just really reinforce this. Make sure everything is nice and tight here. But I don't want this stuff rolling around. I wanna be able to just keep it in the top half. That way when we actually drive to the objective, um, kind of leave the truck there and not really have to do anything special for it. I'm trying to get this to angle again. Honestly, it probably won't really matter. That shouldn't go anywhere. So this is probably just overkill at this point, but again, I don't really have any other use for the planks in this mission, so I'd try, rather just try and make sure we're as set up as we can be. That's not really gonna do anything either, but okay. Let's save. See if we can deliver this. Where's the where's the tornado right now? Actually, I want to move these cars. Oh, I already tossed the red car off. Oh, I'd actually pick this one up. I shouldn't have done that. I'm really just trying to get this car into the water. Have it like completely free and clear of our path. I guess if I can pick the car up, the tornado will be able to also. So that's clean. Still going to be a bit of a challenge though, getting this truck over there. This tornado just wants to rip. So we're going to have to trying to avoid this thing. Wait for it to despawn. You can see we broke our planks already. We have to just wait it out. Oh, come on. So it does not matter at all if we have a roof, apparently. <laughs> that thing just ate us up. It's very hard. I don't know if you're actually able to do this. Like, I'm sure you can. You 
have to like wait for the perfect tornado spawn. Like this I'm not too worried about. I'm gonna just quick save because we're here. I'm gonna just continue inching up the road and I'll quick save, quick save, quick save. Like this one I know it's gonna spawn down towards the truck. Oh, it spawned behind us. I thought it was just waiting to spawn in front of us. Boom. So just like that, we're good. Quick save this. I'm not escaping yet because we do still have the one over at the other side of the map here. But this one we can just hand deliver. It's not that big a deal. Not that worried about it. We'll just have to make sure to use some cover. But knowing what we know now to complete this mission, it obviously took way less time. It was way less frustrating. It makes total sense. I just was not thinking about it enough. Um, but yeah. The truck, being able to deliver the truck was super clutch because I don't know if you would. It would take a long time trying to hand deliver these things because you've got the tornado coming and whatever. It would be a lot. You need to make sure that you're jumping in cover, like spending time in cover the entire time. So just with this, we're gonna go from here. Where do we gotta go? It's nice though not being on a timer. A timer would make this way harder than it needed to be. This, I'm probably gonna get caught up in the tornado because I elected to just spend time outside, but... Okay, maybe not, we're good. Drop this right there, then we can escape. There we go. Okay, so obviously our second playthrough of that was way quicker, way more efficient. We learned a lot in that first time playing through. I didn't want to have to restart and play through, but I corrupted my own save by quick saving on top. <coughs> if you can wait out that tornado enough and you get really lucky with its spawns, it's not that hard to deliver the truck. Um, but yeah, all said though, we got all of our targets there. We got all three primary, we got all three optional, which is super, super, super cool. Obviously, this took us longer than 1354. It was probably about 20 minutes for that last run in its own right, but not 100% here. I believe we should, with that, hit our next rank. We will. Not sure what the deal is with this van. Drive vehicle. Okay, that's cool, but did we get something with this? I'm confused. Because, like, I don't do anything at my base right now. We got a bunch of cool stuff. Like, there's a lot of, like, equipment here and stuff. But I don't really know what the point of all of this is. I wonder if there will be a point eventually. But, what is this? Blue Tide. Okay, let's go see what this is all about. We have reached rank of Hotshot. We unlocked that at 120, so that's cool. What does Blue Tide do? Extra strong. Drinking a bottle will temporarily boost your running speed and jumping ability. Okay, that's very cool. That's very cool, especially for these missions where you're having to spend a lot on foot and you're trying to outrace the clock. That and the vehicle thrusters, I think, are going to be my priority, um, my main focuses for the next little bit because we do have a lot of other tools here that can do the same jobs. But these ones, to be able to get some speed boosts, are going to be very, very beneficial, I think. Very beneficial. So I think that's where we're really going to be putting money into. It's just at this point, I don't know. We'll probably spend more time on our feet than we would in a vehicle. But we'll have to see. I'm going to just keep this money here for right now. We will have to do like a little v a valuable scounge and try and, and try and get some more cash and upgrade the blue tide and vehicle thrusters. But we'll have to see kind of how we go. Going to call this mission here though gonna call this episode with the completion of this mission which was the blue tide shortage super cool mission i was very annoyed at the very beginning i'll be completely honest because i could not for the life of me figure out how you were supposed to be able to get this done in any reasonable amount of time but it made a lot more sense kind of the more i thought about it it really did take that first little bit of a playthrough to kind of figure out how you need to approach this particular situation it just felt like everywhere i tried to go i was getting annihilated by the tornado i know the whole objective is to try and stay away from it but i couldn't i guess in my head really comprehend what that would look like but it makes total sense to just seek shelter um and it was really nice to be able to get two vehicles to a point where they could be loaded unobstructed so that made the world of difference once we could kind of put two and two together there so 
hopefully you guys like this video hopefully you were able to take something from it if you did and if you were please give this video a like drop any questions and comments as always in our comment section and if you haven't already please subscribe to the friendly friends of youtube channel where we have a bunch of teardown content already there but also a bunch more coming see you all in the next episode and have a great day everybody